Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is in Washington today asking for help from the Biden administration and Congress. But some are accusing Zelensky of meddling in the upcoming presidential election. Natalie Brand has more details from the White House. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky met with President Biden at the White House to sell his plan to win the war against Russia. I raised with President Biden the plan of victory. Today we are preparing to discuss the details to strengthen the plan. President Biden in his final months in office is promising to surge security assistance to Ukraine. Today I'm proud to announce a new $2.4 billion package of security assistance. Mr. President, can you read into his more? Of course, we have to. On Capitol Hill, senators who met with Zelensky indicated one of his top requests was to be able to strike targets inside Russia. President Zelensky says he wants to end this war through negotiations. The only way you're going to get Russia to the table is hit them harder than we're hitting them today. As Republicans remain divided over additional security assistance to Ukraine, former President Trump has not met with President Zelensky during this latest trip to the U.S. The president of Ukraine is in our country, and he's making little nasty aspersions toward your favorite president, me. Trump allies in the U.S. House say they will launch an investigation into Zelensky's visit to an ammunition facility in Scranton, Pennsylvania, with three of the state's Democrats accusing Zelensky of campaigning in a key battleground state. I think it was wildly inappropriate what happened, and uh, we cannot have foreign nations interfering in our elections. I think that's what it, it amounted to. Following the visit, the House Speaker called on Zelensky to fire Ukraine's ambassador to the U.S. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. Johnson was the only congressional leader who did not meet with Zelensky today. Republican Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, who's been a staunch supporter of aid to Ukraine, was on hand for Zelensky's Capitol Hill visit. 